Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at how the word spam came to mean junk message. While some have suggested that this was because spam, as in the hormel meat products, is sometimes satirized as fake meat, thus spam messages are fake messages, this potential origin, while plausible enough on the surface, turns out to be not correct at all. The real origin of the term comes from a 1970 Monty Python's Flying Circus skit. In the skit, all the restaurant's menu items devolve into spam. When the waitress repeats the word spam, a group of Vikings in the corner break into song about spam drowning out all other conversation. This is until they are finally told to shut it. Exactly where this first translated to internet messages of varying types, such as chat messages, newsgroups, etc., isn't entirely known, as it sort of happens all over the place in a very short span of years, in terms of the name being applied to these messages. It is, however, well documented that the users in each of these first instances chose the word spam, referring to the 1970 Monty Python sketch, where spam singing was drowning out the conversation, and spam itself was unwanted and popping up all over the menu. Some examples of these first instances of unsolicited, unwanted messages being referred to as spam are as follows. The first documented case among Usenet users was March the 31st, 1993. This is often incorrectly stated to be the first usage of the term spam as referring to spam messages. This first Usenet case came when Richard Depew, who had been playing with some moderation software, accidentally ended up posting around two 200 duplicate messages in a row to news admin policy newsgroup. The first person to call this spam is thought to be Joel Fuhr on the 31st of March 1993. Depew himself, when he apologized, referred to his messages as spam. A more likely first use of the word spam referring to certain electronic messages comes from MUDs, multi-user dungeons. This was a sort of real-time multi-person shared environment, a somewhat primitive version of The Sims Online or Second Life and the like. In it, users could chat and interact with other people, locations, and objects as well as create objects and share them with the community. Basically, it's a really advanced chat room. The name MUD comes from the fact that it reminded people of certain aspects of Dungeons & Dragons. In any event, spamming was used here to refer to a few different things, including flooding the computer with random data, spam the database by flooding it with new objects, and flooding a chat session with a ton of unwanted text. Basically, anything that had to do with filling other members' accounts with unwanted electronic junk. One of the earliest documented uses of the word spam from MUDers comes from 1990, when they were, ironically enough, discussing the origins of the word spam as referred referring to electronic junk messages. Undocumented sources say it had been around quite a bit before that among MUDers, which is evidenced by the content of the documented message. Others say that the term originated on BitNet's Relay, which was a very early chat system in the 1980s. Supposedly, users would occasionally come on and annoy other users with unwanted text, including the actual Spam 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 song from Monty Python. Another similar chat system, TRS-80, also reported the same phenomenon and also called it Spam. Both of these latter two chat system origins are not documented, but numerous former users of these systems have stated they remember this term being used commonly among users of these systems. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please leave us a comment below and don't spam. If you did like it, also subscribe to our channel for brand new videos just like this every day of the week and don't forget to like. Also over there on the right, a couple of other videos you'll probably enjoy if you enjoyed this one and thank you for watching.